Well, for a perspective now on the health of Brazil's economy in light of continued weakness in China, we are joined on Skype by Sam Chester of Clarity Capital. Thanks very much for being with us. It's a pleasure. Well, with Brazil's economy in the midst of a major economic downturn and on the brink of even sharper downturn, to what extent are its woes tied now to the economic setbacks in China's economy? Well, to start with a little background, many emerging economies, particularly research countries, research rich countries like Brazil, Russia, and others, they really fixed themselves to China's growth in the last few years. And then with China's slowdown, particularly happening in heavy industries, these countries, principally Brazil, have then been struggling to generate their own growth. And then when you have on top of that the currencies in Brazil and elsewhere are plummeting, as Brazil does what countries have always done, which is to reduce the value of its currencies in order to try to help its exports. Um, and then the problem you have furthermore happening in terms of Brazil is that as its currency is going down and it's been borrowing heavily over the last few years, principally in U.S. dollars from the U.S., with the U.S. set to raise its uh, currency soon, this will hurt Brazil even more. For China and Brazil, though, the linkage really has history. In better times, the two countries were known as Chinzilla for the way that they dominated emerging markets and were powering the global e economy. But at the same time, what worked when things were going very well now has spillovers when things are not working so well. And those spillovers could even affect the global economy. All right. So perhaps too dependent there on China. But what role did the Chinese stock market now, this bust that we saw over the summer and the sudden currency depreciation by Beijing, play in Brazil's economic hardships? Well, on the one hand, there sort of wasn't a direct effect in the sense that Brazil's biggest problems has really been the lack of a steady hand at the political helm to tackle the major economic problems they're facing. I mean, it's well known right now the president of Brazil, Dilma Rousseff, is facing perhaps impeachment. There's corruption throughout the government, throughout the leading businesses. This is really independent of anything coming directly from China. That said, this instability from China has had at least two effects that we can see clearly. One is it's worse in the near-term hopes for an uptick in the Chinese economy, which would help Brazilian exports. And number two, the depreciation of the renminbi puts further uh, pressure on the real, the Brazilian currency, because as China lowers its currency, that sets off currency pressures throughout the world, where other countries then look to lower their currencies as well to help their exports. Let's be very clear, the problem coming out of China are not just the Chinese stock market. For instance, in the last two months, August and September, activity in China's factories shrank at the fastest pace we've seen in seven years. So the problems coming out of China and the impact on Brazil are widespread. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining us for this insight.